Let's take a stop right there, uh, Madam Secretary. Senator Boudreau, um, on personal privilege. Thank you, Mr. President and members uh, <clears throat> for the opportunity to address you after my absence for some time from this chamber. I I've practiced this speech a hundred times and Laurie heard it 99 times and she said, are you ready? And I said, yes. So I just want to just, just tell you all, there's been some dark. Some difficult days. I promise you all I've practiced this and I did better in practice so I'm gonna get it together here you know I never served in the house and I never had a desire to serve in the Senate and five years ago an opportunity presented itself the door open and with the grace of God and family and friends we were successful. This chamber and its historical value meant so much to me to be able to serve, to serve with people who would influence the outcomes of lives of so many in our state. It gave a little young African American who grew up one of eight siblings. This morning I went to the cemetery, June 15th of 2005, my mother died from cancer. I had a talk with her today, I said, Mom, I gotta get back to session. I said, I know you got Brittany. She said, go fight for the people. I'm here today to, to tell you my heart's broken. For those who have experienced this loss of a child, it's unbearable. I could not come here in good conscience with a broken heart. I come today to say thank you to this chamber, to this state, for the outpouring of love and support that you've given to me. I almost need to introduce myself to some of our new members because right when we got started is when the pandemic hit. And that in itself has been a journey for us and in addition to the passing of my daughter between aunts uncles and cousins we have lost eight family members in this state to COVID-19 and I tell you it's at a time when those were all graveside ceremonies so you have no closure there are no wake services there's no repast dinner I say again there's been some difficult days some dark days but the cards, the calls, the letters have kept my faith lifted every day as we serve an awesome God. You know, living in the same community as the President of the Senate and the Chairman of Health and Welfare helps a whole lot because those two guys have been there for me the entire time. 
but each and every one of you have also Secretary Dixon and her staff, Sergeant at Arms, John Keller and Lewis and Morgan and her staff. I want to tell you, um, I was supposed to check in earlier today, but I think out of all the returning senators, I'm the only one that didn't change offices. So why does he bring that up? I stayed because of a relationship I have with Laurie Martinez, who the, the chair that the seat that I occupied today was occupied by her brother, who was a senator in this chamber, and who's helped me tremendously, and who's been there every day, every call. And then I want to share with you all Debbie Odom and Laura Gail Sullivan and Gwen Otuso, who's on our Senate staff who are all breast cancer survivors. And these women are incredible women because they have reached out to me from the day that Brittany was diagnosed and continue to do that. And I thank God for their, just, just, just for their strength because they have gone through this and they have survived. Brother Rodney opened today in prayer and how ironic because of the numerous calls and emails and texts that he's sent my way and to my family. The leaders of the various caucus from the State Democratic Party, Senator Peterson to Senator Carter for our Democratic caucus. But then, you know, committee chairs Senator White has called me and said, your chair is empty, but whatever you need, we have you covered. We've not made a finance meeting, but he's calls on a weekly basis. Senator Ileon, Rev and Fisk send word that you're in the right place. These projects, they're gonna come and go. Take care of what you need to take care of. Senator Harris with the Legislative Black Caucus. And then a couple years ago, Senator Ronnie Johns was on a trip with the governor and they visit Rome. They got a sitting with the Pope and he shared some things that the Pope had blessed for my daughter. And Ronnie has done so much to keep things going for me and my family. And I, I've singled those out, but I have to again tell you that each and every one of you in this chamber means so much to me. That fabric that's torn is tough. But we're here and we could not have gotten through it without your prayers, without your support. And while there was not a, a, a viewing or a, f a funeral service, sometimes this fall we'll have a memorial service in memory of Brittany and her life. She was a nursing supervisor at Texas Children. She, um, through this three-year ordeal with breast cancer, she continued to work full-time and go to school full-time. She was two semesters away from receiving her doctorate in nursing. The girl was, she was courageous. She was a champion and she fought. We were so blessed that she slept in her bed in my home the last night. And the following morning she arose, she woke. And while I was fussing at my wife about getting the breakfast ready, she had plans to eat with our Lord and our Savior. And so we're so grateful for that. I actually talked longer than I wanted to talk because what I wanted to do was, I wanted for those of you who did not get a chance to see Brittany because when she, her sister received, she, her twin sister received her doctorate in nursing from LSU Health Sciences, Senator Murray helped to arrange to give me the best seat in the house for that event. She stood in the back of this chamber a couple years ago after having fought two years with breast cancer. 
I have a short video, a pictorial video, if you would indulge for five minutes, that Morgan and the staff has helped me to show how beautiful and how God has blessed us with her presence. And now she's still working on behalf of all of us in heaven. I thank you all for giving me an opportunity to do this. And I want to share on a very personal note. Like I said, I know if there was a service, you all would have been there. But if they would go ahead and tee that up, I would appreciate it. And I'll ask for your continued prayers and support. We're going to make it through this. And as a body, I want you all to hear Brittany every day saying, let's work together on behalf of all our people in this state. Thank you. God bless.
Senator Boudreaux, thank you so much. And I know I speak for every other senator here. Um, we're so glad to have you back. And um, thank you for sharing that.